Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Thank you for joining me yet again for another Sunday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. In fact, a wonderful week and a weekend as well. And um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a project I was working on with a new set of stamps that I did have. Um, or oh, I had for a while, so I, I started working with those. And um, basically what I did to create those cards. Uh, last week, I um, I do apologize. I did try to post my video as usual, but for some reason, I'm not sure what happened, but it did not post. And I only recognized and realized that the Monday, which, you know, um, I was sorry about because um, I have promised a video every Sunday and I don't want to, you know, um, do otherwise. So if it was an inconvenience to anyone, I humbly apologize, but I am back, and let's go ahead and dive right in. So I have Jane Davenport, and I'm not sure if some, uh, some of you heard of Jane Davenport, but she has some really unique things that she does that I like, and one of the things that, she, that I saw was those faces, just acrylic uh, faces that you can, um, I guess, use, you know, however you, you want to. And these are the ones that I actually am using pretty much for the first time. And I wanted to create a couple of, a few cards, one, one of each, of course, and um, just basically, you know, have something um, out of it. So initially what I did was I went ahead and stamped it on, you know, a 65-pound cardstock first. And then I used the outline of the stamp, you know, so that I can get the, you know, be able to cut it out so that I can still have the hair and, you know, work with that. So I did that for each of those and then I cut those out of the from the cardstock. Then the first one I did, which was this one, okay, um, notice it's, it's cut out. I went ahead and just, you know, messed, did something with the hair. You know, I'd use um, um, just basically brown pencil, color pencils um, to put the, the makeup and everything. For the face, I used initially a light brown um, pencil, and then I used just, you know, a regular pencil just to kind of, you know, put over that and of course I use my die cuts and everything, my sentiments and I was able to come up with this design here. I also use um, an embossing folder for this one which is uh, feathers if you can see that. So I had the feathers um, under here and these are actually um, picture frame die cuts that I have. So you know they in a set of three so I just basically use these two here and I will show you how I also use um, uh, the one of those with another part of that um, um, picture frame sorry in order to do the other one. So basically that's what I came up with for this one. Added a couple of gems. This part here was white. I used some Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and just kind of to lightly give the edges a little pink. So this was the first one that I was able to do. Then I went to the other one. With this one I used, for the this background here, I used this embossing folder. It's birds and you know on branches like tree type thing. I know it's a little clear, maybe, oh no, that's even worse. <laughs> but anyway, it's birds and branches, and um, I use for that one. I also use the Distress Ink on the edges just to add a little blue. And then this, um, this one is the final um, part of that picture frame that um, I mentioned to you about. Because if you look at it, um, this one here is the first one. The this one is the second one and this one here is the third one. So I just basically interchanged them um, to suit what I wanted. Um, once I did that, of course, again, I had cut out the head by itself, did what I wanted to do with it. Then I used two of the picture frames just to, you know, um, enhance the, the, the overall look with a couple of gems and, of course, the 
sentiment which I stamped on a piece of um, 65 pound cardstock and I just trimmed it up to fit. So this is the second one. The last one I have here is kind of different. Um, this one was more made from leftover die cuts and scrap paper, you know, anything that was kind of left over, including a big old balloon here. Um, I was just trying to, you know, play around with it. So this balloon, again, I add head the, the last head to it, and I have so happy for you. It's just, you know, a little fun thing, you know, if someone is celebrating something or, you know, you're just happy for them for some reason. This um, was is what this card is about. At the back here, I had these flower die cuts. I had a whole bunch of them. I, I think I still have some. The issue with those is I didn't really like those, so I never really used them as such. But today, well, I just decided to just go ahead and use them as part of the background. And then here is a piece of a map, vintage type uh, piece that I did. And I used it in the background and just a row of bling because I can. So there is no actual um, coordination per se or anything that, um, that fits. It's just, you know, basically just putting things together and seeing what came out. Now for the balloon, I use this one, which is a butterfly background. And um, I use Distress Ink to color over it. Uh, I think I use oranges and yellows. And I went ahead and get that done. Then I adhered the head to the top of the balloon. And of course, you see here the sentiment. So basically, the um, these are the three cards that I... Um, created again using the Jane Davenport uh, faces. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but I believe um, it may be. But you know, it's it's an option you can use for cards. You know, if, um, if you want to send uh, to friends or something like that. But of course, we look we're referring to females. You know, these are options that you can use if you do have or you're interested in those. If not, just go on to Google and just get yourself some. Uh, faces or pictures or what have you that are royalty free and can be used on your cards and they will work just as well. So with that said, um, this is really it for today. Um, again, if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and any questions or anything you'd like to share, if you even have any um, Jane Davenport pieces that you want to uh, share as well, feel free to reach out. And I wish you guys a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful and safe week. And see you again next Sunday. Thank you so much for dropping by. Bye-bye.